but this is going to be a uh, short video survey of the put it back together here start from the very beginning I think it's called a Paul Garnier looks like it's some type of early aircraft attitude indicator as you can see it's got a cast aluminum base and three shock mounted pedestal mounting it's got one outlet source for vacuum and there are two small you probably can't see them let me see if I get in the picture these are the inlet ports that are reduced in diameter as they go through that hole there to uh, when the suction is applied the air comes in there and uh, accelerates the rotor it's marked one two three four on each side this dome is actually glass and I'm not sure whether this edge is rolled over or whether it's epoxied in there I'm not sure but it comes off it's got real fine concentric rings around the outside that you can't hardly see it says monte which I guess that means climb de descente which means go down the top unscrews it's cast aluminum unscrews I had to put that little dot back in there see that little dot down in there it was a uh, I guess it was radium and it just chipped off of course I broke that now this is the rotor assembly all it has is a steel pin and has these serrations in here I'll explain what those do later looks like it was balanced somebody made a little balancing uh, drill hole there the inside is just looks like it's steel or chrome plated I'm not sure the out external is brass looks like it might be two pieces this is steel and this actually this little top piece here which I also broke is uh, is, is some type of plastic or phenolic I'm not sure that may help date the thing but uh, it has a little uh, white band and a groove there on that I had to fix that with some JB weld that's the rotor it's pretty heavy it's um I don't know 14 ounces 16 ounces now when you look down on the inside of the thing you can see it has on the side you have this caging lever and the caging lever release and you press the release and it drops down like so and then when you push the release this pops out and then you push it back in to release the thing it's a little sticky but you can make it work but what it does is on the outside perimeter of this external uh, boss it has a helical machined groove on the inside and when you when you press the release this thing actually turns you can see it it turns as it goes down All right so when it locks up right there oh might have screwed something up there oh still good to go but those little um, uh, I guess what would these those be called some kind of serrations they engage these external serrations here this little cup this steel cup here is just a really highly polished cup but it's also spring loaded I don't know if you can see that but it it is spring loaded up and down so it actually pro provides some type of shock resistance so how it works is this caging lever comes up and locks and when the when this is all the way down the the pin sits in that cup and the the top is free to articulate I guess that's the word and then when it's caged the these sear this outer area here engages the serrations and it sits there and it's actually caged and when the glass fits on this is machined in kind of like a bevel and it's it completely cages the thing so you could turn it upside down or do aerobatics or whatever you want and it wouldn't 
wouldn't be damaged. But when you press the release, but the fact that that thing rotates as it descends, it actually starts the rotor spinning. And since I don't have a vacuum source, I use my air hose, and you can actually spin the thing up. It kind of messes it up because I'm only putting the air in on one side, but you can see how it works. spinning pretty good and since I'm only putting the air in on one side it it kind of is off so you kind of got to like a if you push on it a little bit I guess 90 degrees in the plane of rotation it will level itself out you see 90 degrees ahead or behind something like that I don't remember that from engineering school too many years ago but then you put the top on and you can see how it works. It's shock loaded. Let me spin it back up a little bit. On the other side here. They're spinning pretty good. I wouldn't want to hazard a guess how fast that thing is going. But as you move it, if there's not too much glare on, the top stays and you can for roll and for pitch. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. So it works pretty good, actually. But I'm not exactly sure what will happen when the airplane accelerates fore and aft, but it doesn't seem to have too much effect. And it's actually, I'd have to get into my old books again and actually do a little studying, but it actually is self-erecting. Um, it, If you let it sit for a little while, even if it gets, because I'm only putting the air in on one hole, if it gets off a little bit, The, the gravity effects must somehow causes it to erect and the, and the little white circle in the center thing will actually be right on that white dot if you leave it for a little while but it's actually pretty damn cool at least I think it's pretty cool I don't know what date this thing was made but it sure works pretty good you know if you had one of those compasses that you look down on from the top and this thing here, I bet you could fly pretty good. Other than the fact that you're looking at the floor. But it goes any way you want to go. And then you just kind of let it spin down. Pretty cool, huh?